guys decide to follow in my footsteps which is probably not gonna happen because this is pretty extreme here is 
the flat white part number. Here's the paint code, take a screenshot. If Lowe's runs out of flat white, guess what? This is the same dang thing. It's just got a little bit more adhesion promoter in it, but the colors match. And they can tint this too. And they always have this stuff. They always have the white clean metal primer. And it is flat. So, little tip from you. So let's see here. Eight, nine, and three quarters. So, each one of these still has a little bit of touch-up paint in it. Um, I had to stop in the... I had to stop in the middle of uh, painting because I only had I only had four cans, and I don't know what I was thinking, but I thought four cans would do it, and it took that many cans. So now, before I show you this obscenity, <laughs> keep in mind that this is the only time you're going to see it without scratches, dings, dents, and I'm I'm sure there's some spots that I missed, but. I laid underneath it for two or three hours just spraying away. It looks pretty convincing. It, it almost looks like something Stuart and Stevenson or Oshkosh would make right from the factory. Everything got the good old desert tan treatment. Everything I could see. These ramps are gonna be the first things to get scratched up. The first time I pull Rusty up there, the center of them are gonna get trashed. <laughs> but oh well. Now, this week is gonna be an exciting week for you guys. It's gonna be freaky for me because we're gonna get this trailer finished and then I've got to use my cojones to get uh, Rusty up on the trailer, which is already freaking me out. So I've heard horror stories of people dumping these things off the side and all that good stuff. And I'm going to take every precaution that I can to not do that. And initially when I go up, I think I'm going to use the winch points that I put in. So I've got one up here and I got one on the rear. I just want to make sure that I don't take my project that I spent all this time on and dump it on the ground on its side and bust all the windows out of it. So that would really upset me and I don't want to do that. The opposite could be true as well, that Rusty just doesn't care and he's nice and steady and stable on these ramps and there's no other problems whatsoever. But I just want to do things safe and the right way. Um, and I'm beat. It's like almost six o'clock now. I've been up, been up since six, and now it's six o'clock. So uh, it was a good solid day of getting the trailer painted. And by the way, I'm leaving the boxes black. We took them out and mounted them and drilled all the holes for them. And uh, I think they'll look nice. They'll, they're the same color as the wheels, so I think they'll match up pretty nice. I got a diamond plate door on them. They're dinged up a little bit already from shipping, but. Whatever. Aside from that, I got some time-lapse footage from, I believe, that camera up there, if I even got any in this video, uh, to edit. So if you guys uh, like this video, give me a thumbs up. And yes, we're still having wildfire smoke here all day long. It's been going on for four or five days now. So all that is not fog, that's uh, wildfire smoke. If you are uh, not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. This week is going to be all kinds of fun. <laughs> I use that term loosely because it'll be fun for you guys, but probably freaking out for me. So, But other than that, guys, I hope you're taking care of each other. Stay safe, and I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.